In this video, we're going to look at using a widget in the to-dos configuration um, in ServiceNow Employee Center. Um, so I will uh, tell you right off the bat that uh, this would be an awesome feature, and I was really excited about using it, uh, except it has a fatal flaw in it that basically makes it unusable. Um, let me let me give you, uh, I'll, I'll lead you down the path of disappointment here so that you can decide if you even want to watch the rest of the video. Uh, anyway, so uh, here's here we're here in uh, Employee Center in my tasks, right? I have an approval request. Um, and you can see here that I have, uh, this is a test widget and here is the text and I'm giving you a sys ID right here, right? So I'm using a custom widget here in this uh, approval, right? And I'm able to pass a sys ID from um, other parts, you know, from whatever calls this, I'm able to pass a sys ID in so that I can display record uh, information, record data, and all kinds of other stuff, right? Basically, I have a, a window into the rest of the context with the SysID. So when I saw this and when I got this working, I was really, really excited. And then I saw a, a question in the community on this and that went unanswered. And the person said, yeah, this is great. When I'm in my tasks, I can get this set up. I can get this working. But when I go to my requests and I look at that same task, in um, my requests, right? So now I'm in the parent here. This is a case, uh, an HRSD case to set up an HR profile. And there's an approve request. And you see it does not use that custom widget. Um, so I figured, ah, this must be something I'm doing wrong. Let me put a support ticket in and support tell me, yeah, that's the way it works. Basically, it doesn't work. Um, so as you can tell from the tone of my voice, I'm a little disappointed. Um, maybe angry is a better word, <laughs> uh, but you know, I guess it is what it is. I think at some point this will be fixed because this would be an awesome, uh, this would be really helpful because uh, honestly, the approval um, functionality out of the box in Employee Center is just unusable. It's horrible. It gives you, and I, I did, I went over this in another video of how you can change the fields and it just puts the fields like in three columns and uh, just keeps piling them on, it's really terrible. Um, so hopefully this will be something that will get uh, updated and that'll get fixed up in a later version. Okay, so with that being said, um, you know, and if you, well, I'm just thinking out loud here, but if you send a notification to the person and tell them, hey, you gotta do it in my tasks, uh, you know, maybe it won't be so bad. Um, if we just, uh, and this is a, an aside that I probably shouldn't go down, but uh, you can look at if we do the, let's see, widget, uh, where's the, here it is, show widget customization. So we can see here that, uh, right, so here's my custom widget, which I called test. And then the container above there is called primary info. Um, and this is all contained in, yeah, task configuration. I think it's similar. Whereas if we go over here, and I'm just looking at the reason why it doesn't work in here. And we do the same thing. We want to do show widget customization so we can see what's going on. So, yeah, see this, it's HRM tasks, ACH widgets. It's not quite using... The same thing, even the primary information is different over here, right? Not the same as uh, over here. I was doing some testing with the sys ID. So you can see all of this is different than it is over here, which is just really annoying uh, because it's the same task and it's just two different ways of going into it, both of which are available to the user. Okay, I'll, I'll stop complaining now, uh, but yeah. Okay, so let's look at how we do this. We'll go into the back end and let's go to the to do configuration. And this is going to be for approvals. Okay, and so then we go into the task configurations. 
and you can see each one of these task types or classes or whatever you want to call them has its own configuration. So this one I've called case, but it's for the uh, HRIT operations case table. Um, we have our common info. So this is where I was messing around with, uh, with this. And uh, so on the common info, I'm passing the sys ID of the, of, um, the approval record. Right, they give you a little annotation here with what you can put in there. So you can put field names in here. Here we can change that to number, say. Um, and then over here in primary info, there's this use widget. Uh, right, otherwise you have to choose a field uh, or fields to put in there. But you can do this use widget and the widget is in here. And then here's, so here's where the magic happens, the widget parameters. Um, so in my widget, I have a parameter called sysid. And you can use that same notation that we used over here uh, that was explained in that uh, annotation, which seems to have disappeared. Uh, you can use that in here. So reference, uh, reference table sysid, right? So the reference table is the parent case. So you could display all kinds of uh, information in the widget uh, about that parent case, right? You can format it however you want. Uh, let's go look at that widget, or actually, before we do that, let's just save this. OK, so then in the widget, you just set up some parameters. Put it up in here. So uh, edit option schema, and you see I have a parameter called uh, sysid. I have another one called test. And um, right, they're just taking a string of whatever you pass in there. Okay, and this here, so I'm just grabbing uh, what's in the options, uh, test and sysid, and I'm just uh, displaying them over here, right? Nothing uh, fancy here. Um, obviously, you would build this out if you were doing this for real. And so we go back here, and I'll refresh, and I think I changed this to the Okay, yeah, I don't know what I did. Okay, this is the, yeah, we don't want that. I'm going to go back to here. And, right, I was messing with this, and I'm not sure what happened with that. Let's change that to sysid, maybe. Yeah, okay, so that's back up here. Um, so you can see, right, it's uh, grabbing, this is the uh, sysid of the case, right, of uh, HRC 1003. Um, so that's how it works. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I think the key is really uh, using this notation in the widget parameters in order to be able to pass in data to that widget. Uh, which makes it so powerful. And if it ever gets fixed one day, this will be awesome, and we can all rejoice and uh, and use it. But until then, it's uh, just sort of a, a nice thing that uh, that would be really cool. But uh, we'll we'll wait for a fix on that. Thanks for watching.